Hey guys, Anthony here coming to you from the Stealth Van. Quick video update. I pulled out the bed frame that was in here because I have to find a leak that was coming on the on, under the mat there in the center of the van. Uh, I think I told you that in an earlier video. So, But while I had everything out, I cleaned the floor up. And uh, right now I just have a military cot opened up, as you can see, on one side. And then on the other side, just a few items that I left in the uh, van here. But the main thing I wanted to show you tonight is at a local RV place here in Fort Lauderdale, I had an electrical outlet installed right here in the back portion driver's side uh, of the van. We're looking in through the back doors right here. So that would be right under the rear window uh, towards the back uh, door. And you see, you can see the height. It's just above the uh, ledge of the uh, cot there. And then on the outside of the van is the inlet port right here, as you can see. So I had them install that today. And I think it was an hour labor, which was $85 plus parts. $121, oh, excuse me, $131. Well worth it. I left the van there about two hours, came back and picked it up, and uh, I think I'm going to have them do a lot more work here to the van. But this gives me the option now of hooking up at a campground or even here at home, plugging in, having electric inside the van. Uh, definitely goes a long way. And, uh, take a walk over to the side here you're looking in through the side here you could see I, I took a lot of stuff out again getting some work done I kind of like it I'm liking it with the cot here set up right behind the uh, first seat in the back here there's one seat and then the rest of the van is open I like that cot idea and maybe with some good toters on underneath you can even probably fit a Yeti cooler under there uh, my clothes some food uh, some gear and then along this side of the van I'm just thinking out loud one of those uh, heavy-duty workbench inserts that go into the van the top is uh, wood, like a workbench, and then it's got storage drawers that lock, and then a bottom cabinet that goes over the wheel well. Um, have one of those installed for gear, and then keep something like this cot there uh, on this side uh, with stuff underneath it, and just give me a little bit more room, I think, and maybe some more options to set up the ham radio in the back on top of the countertop. Uh, so I'm just thinking out loud, just going to mess around with some ideas while uh, I'm still gonna fix the bed up I got to do some work to it I want to paint it and I'm gonna split the top in half so it opens uh, the back portion opens and then the uh, front portion opens inside the van so I could access gear on both sides with a, a hinge so I'm gonna be working on that uh, the next couple of weeks uh, so look for that to come back in uh, for you guys that don't know my Yezu FT2900 2 meter radio is installed in the van. It's right there in the front, mounted there. And I'm getting ready to hardwire that uh, so I could use the high power uh, up to 75 watts. So that's another update that's coming. So stay tuned. Uh, but wanted to show you the electric outlet. That's a, a big plus. Uh, and I may have one of those van ceiling fans put in vent fans uh, soon also my solar panel kit uh, to run the Yeti batteries that I have so there's a lot a lot I have going on I just wanted to get you guys an update I know I haven't done a video been real busy uh, but wanted to get this out there I really like this setup with the cot it gives me the ability to still sleep there fold the cot up if I need more room or uh, store a bunch of stuff under the cot there uh, in some totes like I said and then uh, go camping and have this whole area of the floor open 
So let me know what you think, guys. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Stay ready. Now more than ever. Anthony signing off.